Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, I built up in, uh, uh, a bunch of my new uh, kits. Uh, I've got about five to show off today. This one's probably the least interesting, but it is pretty neat and it is useful. Um, <clears throat> what it is, is it's a six-switch debounce kit with latching option, meaning if I power it on at uh, seven to nine volts, uh, I can press any of those buttons and the corresponding output will go high. And when in latching mode, if I press the button, the output will toggle. So if I press switch one, output one will go high. Then if I press it again, it will go low. And I'm gonna have got these hooked up to LEDs. And it comes with everything here, including a header. These wires I've just plugged in so I could show you on my breadboard uh, eight LEDs to, to uh, indicate how the outputs are working. Now there's a four pin he header here. You only need to use uh, a two pin header and it comes with a header jumper. When uh, you place the header jumper over the right two pins shorting them, you're in latching mode on power up. Uh, and if you leave all of the pins not connected, then you're in uh, you're in monetary mode. So right now we're in monetary mode. So I'll give you a uh, I'll give you a demonstration. So right now I've got the uh, the jumper taken off the rightmost two pins. Uh, I've got I've got connected some wire to some LEDs on the main board. Now the output there are uh, there are eight output lines: five volts, ground, and um, essentially out out one to out six. And uh, so this is um, out one, out two, out three, out four, out five, out six. So I'm I'm going to power it up without any ju any jumper on the header, and we're in monetary mode. Now the whole point of this is whenever you use a switch to switch digital circuitry there's always mechanical bounce so if you're going from zero to five volts you know you'll, you'll there'll be a little bit of a bounce on the line and that can severely affect uh, clock inputs sensitive digital inputs uh, unless you've programmed in some some short delays to kind of compensate for that digital uh, bounce so these the inputs are actually seeing that bounce with the outputs that you see here the LEDs are void of digital bounce and so what I do is I can actually turn it off when you power it on it enters in one or two modes monetary or latching mode so I place my header jumper over the rightmost two pins and I power it back up and now I'm in uh, now I'm in uh, latching mode Do the outputs stay high? The outputs toggle. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the outputs toggle, and that's great for uh, keeping something on or, or, or turning it off. It's it's nice adding a latching mode. You can add, connect that to a relay, uh, a relay driver, which will drive a relay, and it'll stay on until you press the buttons again. So you can use that for a bunch of different applications. Now I've got a bunch more kits that are a little bit more interesting than this, but this is actually a fairly useful uh, project. If you solder your header with the long leads facing the bottom, you can actually fit the board into a breadboard. It takes seven to nine volts to operate. You can use up to twelve, but don't leave all. If I mean, don't be uh, using LEDs at the output because the LEDs take a fair bit of current if they are all on for a long period of time. Um, anyway, so I'll be showing off my uh, my other kits uh, this afternoon. So if you've seen this video, check back on my channel. The most recent video should be uh, some really really neat new stuff. Thanks for watching and have a great afternoon, guys.